just the rules. Okay. Sodomy is one of them. And no sodomy, sodomy. Sodomy is sex. But. But. I thought, it was, dude, I, there was a guy who used to jerk off on the top bunk, and uh. he would, he wouldn't even like put it anywhere. He just spray it on the wall and go to sleep. <laughs> Fucking nasty people. Dude. What made you want to do that? Call of Duty. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Damn, it's real. The memes are real. <laughs> Call of Duty. Check. Don't text you. Short and sweet. Yeah. There's. Yeah. <laughs> good? Again? Five, four, three, two, one. Um, but if you know, if you have to say anything, you can just let us know, okay? Um, welcome. Good welcome, to be here. dude. It's the local survivalist. Hold up, sorry, I'm very parched. We'll get double drinks going. <coughs> I almost died. Um, how you been, dude? Good. Haven't uh, seen you in like I don't know forever. I know, like at least outside, of, like doing stuff out of work, mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, I think. I don't even know. When was like we work together? This is a uh, Johnny, Johnny, John, John, Johnny. Now he's a he's a survivalist and a. Um, He's a ex Navy guy, another Navy guy. Is my spell? Yeah, it is. Um, it's cool, but I do want to hear your Navy stories because I didn't, I didn't like talk that much about. Okay. But the, my last guest, we kind of just talked about his family. I don't know if you've seen those clips. Shout out Stanley, but his family just, you know. If you haven't seen it, watch it. I'm gonna put a link in there. His like family came from, in like shipping containers. That was a good burp, by the way. Thank you. Um. But yeah, dude, that's cool. What you've been up to? You just so you want to hear some Navy stuff? Yeah, but we'll get to it. Yeah, man. We'll get I, to it I mean, man. I was gonna loosen up. Getting quick. up to it. Uh, you know, I, have, I don't even know you. I'm just trying to get to know you. I've been playing a little bit, a little bit of video games. Uh, wait, I don't know. Uh, I try to stay busy. Wait, you, in California or here? California. What do you still? What do you play still? Far Cry. Oh, you're playing Far Cry. Which one? Far Cry 5, it's the one where you're in Utah and you shoot some... Uh, Utah? Yeah, dude. What the heck? I didn't know they had one in Utah. What are you, like, yeah. fighting, fighting Mormons or something? No, you're fighting... Uh, it's Christians, but they're, like, a cult. It's yeah. Mormons. It's, it's Mormons, bro. They, they keep it in the family like yeah. the Mormons do. Uh, yeah, dude, they just don't want to put Mormons because they don't want to get caught. No, it's That's cool. crazy. Or the Jehovah Witness. I got to do an episode where I'm in a cult, raising a cult. Yeah, as a Jehovah's Witness? I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. I didn't say call. Yeah, I'd say all the time. I forget. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I don't really talk about it, but I want to. I got to look up more research from being in a cult. You know how, like, did I tell you, like, how I found out? Well, I didn't, like, find out. Mm -hmm. But what made me, like, think about it, I was listening to Joe Rogan, and um, they were talking about, it was, like, him and Matt Reif, the new comedian, pretty boy dude. And he, uh, they were talking about, like, cults because they're, like, into that stuff. And then... And then he's like, well, Joe Rogan was like, well, what do we consider a cult? Mm -hmm. You consider like Jehovah Witnesses a cult? And I was like, oh, frick. So my sister-in-law already Person. told us. Yeah, my sister-in-law had been telling us that they're a cult and everything and all that stuff. And then Joe Rogan, so I'm just like, oh, shit, is this for real? And I got to do more research. But that shit's so funny because like, they're like, do you know anybody in a cult? And I was like thinking about it. I was like, do I know anybody in a cult? And then he said that. I was like fuck was i in a cult mm -hmm. so like that shit would be so crazy like i was just growing up like i actually studied like growing up and it was like it was like i don't, I don't know i wasn't a fan of it because it's like religious mm -hmm. it's like religion i guess so they're just like saying all this stuff but it is kind of like crazy like what my grandma used to tell me like it just never made sense to me of where like every time we passed a church that wasn't ours they'll be like oh jehovah's gonna destroy it Okay, I you got know? the reverse side of that because I would have Jehovah's Witness like come to my door. Yeah. And I grew up Catholic, and I'm like, all right, I'll read the pamphlet. Yeah. And like my aunt or something would come run over. I get that out of here. You're gonna go to hell, you know. Well, yeah, that, the, but that's like the reverse side of it, though. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Yeah, because like, it, what's crazy is that people, um, they're just like, oh, they're so bad. You're going to hell. Like it's all this and that, and when every time like the end of the world was going to come mm -hmm. everyone started going into like the jehovah witness church like they're like oh can we study now can we study now can we study now because like that happened so many times yeah and they were just like 
oh yeah and then when they find out that like the end of the world like wasn't it they're just like no nah, i don't want it anymore like so it's so crazy like that like those stories and like that stuff that i hear that's why it made me like like think that it was the right church i guess or right religion or like the religion because like there's so much things where like oh yeah it's like everyone would hate the right religion or or and stuff like that like it was just like growing up i gotta do i gotta remember and actually write it down and talk about it but it's just like it was just weird well cults are so scary right because it's just it's wait did you tell yeah did you say that you were in a cult or something or like you was went to, you said no you said you went in into a meeting or something oh uh, dude that was for like life insurance and it was very uh cultish like it was a pyramid dude, scheme i got there and it was <laughs> like all right sit down in this office and then they had like chairs set up and they were going to show us a presentation like a powerpoint or something mm -hmm. and i was rushing to get there they're like you gotta this starts at five you gotta be here right like yeah. now <laughs> and i get there and then there's like I'm getting a vibe. They're like, "Oh, if you guys are serious, we'll take you in the back room and show you how. Like, you got to sign some stuff, like an offer type thing." Yeah, and selling your soul, call it shit. I'm just, sacrifice. I'm sitting around, like, just getting a scope for the the vibe of the room, <laughs> and and then I'm like, "What's taking so long?" It's like 40 minutes after we were supposed to start. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're waiting for this one. We're waiting for these two people. They're late. I'm like, motherfucker. Fucker, you yeah. know, like I drove here. I, yeah, can I cuss? That's fine. Yeah, you're okay. good, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I get there, and then like, dude, I, as soon as they got there, like the whole air energy just deflated out of the room. Like, yeah. I gotta get out of here. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Just Describe ran to my them. car and got out of there. So wait, like, do they have a window in the bathroom or something? Or you just like left? Like, oh, I gotta go to the restroom. And you just, yeah, dude. yeah, that's how you did. How did they look? Describe them. What was the energy? Dude, they were all wearing like you know shirts, ties, like old business attire, uh -huh. and then like everybody in the audience, like I was dressed up, like mm. wearing slacks and all that. And dude, there was like a lady in there with a tank top, like looked like she'd been smoking for thirty years, you know. Dude, like, <laughs> dude. dude, how did you even like get into that? Like, how did that even happen? Uh, he did like retirement, uh, some sort of like retirement. He was. He worked in like a retirement. I don't even know how you describe it. Like, he sold retirement to people. <laughs> okay. That, is, how do you, do that? <laughs> you can't retire unless you buy it. I yeah. guess. I mean, like retirement insurance or something. Or retirement. I think they like take the money in and then they like four hundred one k type of shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he did that on the side, but it was the same thing. If if you make money, the guy above you makes money. And the yeah. guy above him makes money and it's all you know it's like a pyramid scheme type mm -hmm. of thing i remember when my mom like like there, she was talking to these people and then she invited them over to our house well it was like an apartment but like it was so crazy because it was like her and like my stepdad and like their family and all that mm -hmm. just in their apartment and then she's like go in the room go in the room like i couldn't be in there but i was just like dude i'm gonna see what's going on it is literally there's literally a pyramid in the fucking presentation but like it, i was just like this doesn't sound right. i was like that's a scheme like this is not like they're just gonna take your stuff and then she my mom was just like she doesn't like when i would like say things like that like 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 i feel like like i know the like I know the answer or something and she's like no it's not that because she hasn't figured it out or she like doesn't like when i'm right or something every time i'm like growing You're up right? Get out of here. yeah dude but like <laughs> I, I wouldn't say like rights i would say more of like like having like a feeling of like that's sketchy like or you shouldn't do that or like oh that's stuff gonna happen right and, like that stuff and then my mom would just be mad she'd get mad at that so i'm just like i was like no nah, you can't do that and then she's like no i guess you want to like, like experiment for herself but but yeah, that's funny. I was just like, like, how did you? Even, so you just like met him somewhere? Or was it like Squid Games? Have you seen Squid Games? Kind of. I just got a text and show up here, and then that was what? the first time meeting him. <laughs> no, I dude, what? From where? Squid Game. Squid. No, I watched Squid Games. Squid Games is like when he was like needing money, and the guy in the suit just came. He's like, let's play this game. He kept losing. So you got a text from what? From the guy. I know, but like, like what was his name? Like, I don't know, Billy or something. Yeah, I don't got to worry about his name. name. Yeah. But I'm talking about like a message from what, like an app or like the f message's phone. Yeah, he texted my phone. How? Like, how did he have your info? Or he just like, like a, a friend of a friend had gave, like asked me, "Can I give him the number?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure," because oh. it seemed fine. It seemed just like a job, like interview. Yeah, like, that's where I thought I was going into. But then it was, hey, come what on. was this at? It wasn't too far from here. I want to say it was like 
Tropicana and something. Oh, and it's yeah. in Vegas. Mm-hmm. When was this? Twenty. When did the new Beauty and the Beast come out? Like the live action? Yeah. What the? When heck? that came out in theaters, that's what I went to see after I bailed on the. Uh, Dude, I didn't movie. even know. I forgot about that movie. I didn't even know that was like a live action movie. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Dude, this still was kind of recent. Yeah. You can say it. Two thousand seventeen. Damn, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm old. I was like five. <laughs> um, 2017. You, I, dude, I can just imagine you. Like, you just like yeah, come up with bad. slacks and like, you know, like well dressed and you're just like sitting in a room. Dude, I kind of want to make that like a little skit. That's so fucking funny. With John I gotta just go watch Beauty and the Beast, dude. Yeah, I can't stay. You can't stay. <laughs> it's like, oh, dude. I got to watch part two or something. That's funny, dude. And he just got into it. I remember like I kind of went to a meeting that's kind of like that, but it was for life insurance. And I was just there going to market, like, if people needed help with editing stuff. Mm. And it was just, like, it was just weird, like, having a group of people that are like, oh, yeah, you guys want to make money? You guys get to do this? And, like, it was just weird to me. It was weird. And, like, it kind of gave me those vibes. Like, it's just anybody. I remember one time. looking their eye. Like, uh, they're talking to you regular, but they got a little gleam or something going on. So, I mean, a little bit. Like, he was just... I don't know. But, like, I remember there's just different types of people. Like you said, like, the girl in the tank top. I remember there was, like, this, I think it was this lady, like, in a puffer. She smelled, like, fucking cigarettes and, like, cat piss. And she was just, like, walking around. There was, like, this other dude that had, like, fake chains and stuff with glasses. Like, all flashy. Dude, but he was, like, pimping, though. That shit was so funny, bro. And there was, like, different people. And there's people, like, with families and shit. And I was just like, bro, where am I? Mm-hmm. And it was, like, it was kind of funny, though. But, um... I don't know. I was just like, this is, this is weird. It, the business of trying to get people to make money is just a weird. Yeah, it's you very. Make money. It's like kind of culty all thing. want to do, right? Yeah, like it's weird. Like that, that, that stuff is like weird. It's just like it does give culty vibes. It's like church is kind of the same thing. They ask for money, and, yeah. you know. But it was just like, I think I don't know why that feels. I wonder why. Why do you think that feels so sketchy when people are just in a room like? Don't really know anybody, but everyone has like the same of like, oh, we're trying to learn how to make money. Why does that feel so sketchy? Money, money is just like the freedom to do whatever you want, right? Uh-huh. Like I would love to have the freedom to get in my jet and go fly off to wherever I want. We need a license first, John. But that's why you need the money, right? Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Like that's what I think. Everybody wants to the freedom to do whatever they want, so they want as much money as possible uh-huh. to do it however live however they want to live. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, why does it feel, like, so culty? Why do you think it feels so culty? Like, I, I, I'm i not asking, mm-hmm. I'm asking you, but, like, just I'm because gonna... you were there, like, you don't even know, like, you know, you weren't in it, but, like, you were just there, like, but, like, what made it feel weird that, like, people were like, oh, yeah, I know how money works? It is, so the government pretty much tells us money's worth something. Okay. That's, like, a, if you if you will that's a similar structure right okay and we all believe that money is worth something so okay. that's kind of like the culty aspect we're all saying that whatever's in my pocket is worth something okay that's what that's my take on it yeah well it's culty okay so well, i i see to me i feel like Don't it was like <laughs> dude, dude to me i feel like it was just like like people there's two ways like it's either like we're so used to like not being able to get that much money and have like that freedom and like find different ways to make money besides like working for someone mm-hmm. that like when we learn about this, it like feels so different and weird and like, it's not right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so. like, okay. So like say that you're in a room full of people that have the same of like, like mindset of like, okay, I want to make money. Mm-hmm. But then like, you guys are like, you don't know anybody. Like someone is teaching someone how to make money and like how to like, just like you know just have more freedom more money and it's just like we as a society is like more like brainwashed of like you just have to work for something you have to work hard and like you know like we're not used to having like oh because they don't teach us how how money works yeah so they're just like so i think that's why it feels weird that like you're in a room full of people making money but it could also be like that's what they want you to think and then like they're actually bad people and it's actually a cult in a period scheme, and it's actually bad. And I get your wives. That's Mormon. 
but i'm just kidding <laughs> but dude like that stuff like i feel like those are the two reasons like it's the same reason with like religion like it's either like you feel good here and like this is right or you're like this is weird off, yeah. you know but it's like i wonder why we feel like that about things about gr- groups of people it's like our intuition or something i don't know the gut feeling i know but like it's just like mainly because like there's just a bunch of different people that we don't know that has the same do you that just reminded me remember that kool-aid don't drink the kool-aid I forgot all about like that was the was that like a racist act right no it was uh they were in texas i forgot the name of the, the but was it like was it something like against black people oh i don't uh i think i swear i saw something yeah something on your eyelash right eyelash right, oh there you go boom thank you yeah it was a... but <laughs> but yeah dude i forgot all about that that just reminded me like if it's like something where you're learning how to get stuff Instead of like spending it, it feels weird. Cause like everyone, like, if you go to events, it feels cool. Like if you go like, to an event, like a concert, uh-huh. it's not. It doesn't give me that feeling. But everyone's there just to enjoy the same thing. Is it because we're not gaining anything besides like the experience and not money? And that's why it's weird. I don't know. Money's weird. Anyways, before we get like fucking, you know, ended up headshot red dot through the window. Um, yeah, this we're is not you're, on short and sweet. This yeah. is not short and sweet street. Two bars. I don't know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, Navy. So, yeah, you're in the Navy. Navy time, Navy uh, time dude. So, yeah. where was it? You want to talk? Well, like, I'm going to start from the beginning. You want to talk about before uh, the Navy? N- l- listen, listen. Sorry. I'm going to ask you the questions. Sorry, bro. All right. Give me the year before you even I joined. The year you joined. 2012. 2012. The year before that, what made you want to do that? Call of Duty. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Damn, it's real. The memes are real. <laughs> Call of Duty, Modern Warfare Two. Is yeah, what, what I was playing. Yeah. Did you want to go to the Navy or did you want to go to somewhere else? But like the Navy was like more open. Uh, Navy. I just wanted to try the Navy. I thought I'd go, you know, see the world. So is it true that the Navy actually flies the planes? Like you know the plane, like the ships and the they jets have, there. They have Navy pilots and they have Air Force pilots too. Okay. Yeah, they probably have okay, because like, what, what Marines have fighter jets too. I don't know if they're Navy. Sorry. Bro. Okay, what the hell is part of the Air Force then? What like because I heard that Air Force like deals more with the ground stuff, and the Navy actually fly these jets on these ships. I don't really know. I just was on the beach for four years and swept <laughs> sand. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not, I'm not a general of the Navy. Uh, uh, Did you I ever go know. on a ship like in the middle of the sea? No. What? Shore Why? Duty, baby. No. I, I ended up getting hurt, and I ended up just oh, on the beach. Oh, how did you get hurt, though? I was, I, we were doing some pretty rough training in the soft sand. Like, was it? Like, I, did you want to go into it? My problem was is I was always so tired, I would never take care of my personal issues. Like, oh, my legs are tight. Let's stretch at the end of the night. Let's drink uh, enough water. I just, all right, throw in a, you know, chewing tobacco, go do my laundry, pass out, forget to put my laundry in the dry. Yeah, dude, I Ah, they, I would just sleep and they, like not they, do any of my responsibilities. <laughs> Dang, not like the best. Do did they like? Are they? Do they yell at you, or is that like only the army? Uh, like the disciplinary yeah, stuff. It, it's only when you're in like a training pipeline. Okay. It, once you get your job, you'll get yelled at if you mess up. Did you ever get yelled at? I got, yeah, dude. All the time, dude. I don't want to say this on the podcast. <laughs> uh, you can. I can bleep it out, dude. I used to just. Yeah, well, you know, you drink all night till like four in the morning. Uh-huh. All right, I gotta go to work at seven. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's and what you. I'm like spraying cologne so the the gate guard won't smell the alcohol on. Yeah, dude. I'm, in your mouth? I was a shitbag sailor, but. Dude, did you want me to bleep that? No. I don't care. Oh, okay, for sure. I was about to say because like that's a lot of bleep. <laughs> but okay, so when did you? What year did you get? 2012, 2013, 2015, 2015? 2012 is when I went. It was October. I didn't even get out of boot camp and A school until like what was it? It was twenty thirteen, like March, something like that. Okay. Illinois is like my most hated I've already told you this, but I hate Illinois just as a place. Is that where yeah, where the camp was? Great Lakes, Illinois. Wait, where is it usually? It's all in Great Lakes mostly. Is the it? Navy Well the Navy is over there? I think they might have one in San Diego, but it's mostly yep. Great Lakes. Illinois is, is that Chicago? Chicago? Chicago, yeah. Chicago, sorry. I went there when I graduated. It's cool. I had a deep dish pizza. 
<laughs> That's all Chicago has. Yeah. Chicago has that and the shootings. It's just a regular city. You just drive around. Yeah. Okay. I got to go there one. What else? Uh, oh, okay. Wait. So you did that, and then when you finish your camp, you left to San Diego. That's where you have to go, or like no, that's you just where picked my, my training pipeline. Okay. You know, it says you have to do this training here. Okay. Then what were you like? What was the training for? It was just for pretty much like lifeguard skills. Pretty much safety. lifeguard, like pool lifeguard. Yeah, ocean lifeguard. It was it was a very rigorous lifeguard mm-hmm. training, but yeah, dude, we get in the pool, have an instructor who's like you know some top level swimmer guy, just pretend to like tread water. Or How panic. much women were in the navy? Huh? How much women were in the navy? Uh, not not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> not, not a lot. Enough. Dude, two percent maybe. Two percent yeah, out of. Yeah. I don't even know. Dude, I, I, I was heard stories from guys who would be like on a ship. They'd be like, "All right, if a girl has some sort of like indicator, like all right, she's got a pink bandana on her arm, dude. She's she's selling it. Yeah, you'll give her some money and you'll get whatever you want. No way. It's kind of like the underwear hanging from your pocket. And they do inspections of like the lockers every whenever. Yeah. Just see money just fall out of the locker because she's Damn, been working, dude. Dude, mm-hmm. she's like fuck being a lifeguard. Dude, that is insane. That is gross, but like, kind of like. I mean, dude, there's, make, there's I, dude, no way. Dude, that's the easy money. If you want women, you gotta go out in town, pretty much. That's why you always see dudes out in town in the bars, like drinking, getting in trouble. They're like, dude, I need some cooter. I'm tired of these men. Dude, wait, wait, wait. I mean, you see nothing but dicks for like three months straight, dude. It's yeah. You just Even bounce the girls, turn, girls start looking good, dude. I couldn't imagine the, prison. The girls, girls. Like the. Like yeah. Oh, gross girls start looking good after. Gross that. girls. Yeah, yeah. Okay, at least said girls, girls. I was like, wait. Girls, um, D&D. Girl, D&D. <laughs> girls, girls. <laughs> um, dude. Okay, so I I heard a story. I was watching a podcast. that like, like, they get in trouble if you do like sexual activity stuff, right? Like, did you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, so technically, sodomy is like illegal in the na- in the military. Sodomy is sodomy is like a UCMJ code. And Explain. Use, what does that mean? UCMJ oh, is, using... is just like the law. Like, okay. Like, this is this UCMJ. It's just the rules. Okay. Sodomy is one of them. And no sodomy, sodomy. Sodomy is sex. But. But. I thought it was but. I always assumed sodomy was but. Yes. But is it everything? No, I think it's but. <laughs> is that just for the Navy? Because there's mainly guys. No, I mean now. Dude, that'd be so it's funny. So it's so like a. It's a weird because. Yeah, it's a. Dude, because I heard in the podcast that they, they, yeah, they let everybody in the military now, so it's kind of yeah, it's a, okay, it's a weird subject. So now it's a different definition, I guess, or whatever. Um, because I heard in the podcast that they're like you're not supposed to do any of that, and like, uh, the comedian Chris De Stef- De Stefano, De Stef- De Stefano? Mm-hmm. yeah, he like asked. He's like, so who's fucking or like who's doing all? And like everyone stayed quiet because you know like they'll get in trouble. And this one kid's like, I got a blowjob. And then like, bro, there's like a blowjob by a girl, and there's probably like I think he said there was like five girls or something. But like, dude, he's getting a blowjob there in the navy. Is like, dude, you're just like asking to get in trouble, I guess, or whatever. But like that's so like. I mean, people still date, you know. It's still like a work environment. You still. Yeah, I mean, but like they're hiding in closets and stuff to do all those things. You can't go into rooms? Dude, you live with other people. You yeah, how much people yourself. are living in, like, a tank or whatever it's called? I'm never on a ship, dude. Like oh, the, shit, I forgot. The, the barracks I was in, we had, like, like the biggest was, like, 64 people in a room where it's just a hallway and there's no walls. Oh, dude, that's a camp. Yeah, pretty, yeah. Either that or, like, I think we had eight in, like, our smaller. Is it, like, a prison, like, where they had, like, bunk beds? Mm-hmm. Ah. At least ours was, yeah. Nice. Did you have to shave your head? Yeah, yeah, I just got in trouble a lot for having long hair. And like, do you, you can't have no facial hair on. No. Is that what you're like? Is that what you're used to? I got tired of shaving. Yeah, so now I just trim a little bit. Dude, I remember you had a beard. Dude, I used to be on watch. I remember one time I drove from like L.A. to San Diego. Mm-hmm. I just got there for my watch, forgot to shave, so I had like, I had a pretty thick. Yeah. And I'm like trying to like check people's ids but hold a book in front of my face for like three hours just so i wouldn't get busted like yeah did, did you get busted no no dude that was like me at chick-fil-a i used to wear the mask mm-hmm. and have my mustache because it was like during the pandemic so when i eat i'd just be like 
like covering it and all that. And then one of my bosses, one of my bosses saw, and he was just like, "Hey, you know, you gonna." You gonna. I was like, "Oh yeah, 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 I got you, yeah, yeah." My bad. My ne- bad. Never did it, and I just quit like, like probably like a month later. But yeah, heck no, dude, I was gonna shave that. I've worked so hard for this my whole life. It's getting pretty gnarly. Thanks, dude. It's good. It grows in my mouth. But why do they say that? Is it because like it's that. dirty, like facial hair, mustache, like facial hair? Yeah, or is it like they just don't like Hitler? I was told, that, yeah, maybe. Uh, you can have the mustache, but it's gotta look stupid. Dude, like, I used to have that. Cr- yeah, I used know. to have that. Dude, <laughs> I, used, I used to cut it. I was like, dude, I like this, and I cut it, and then I was like, damn, this is not what I thought it would. But the thing is, like, one grew faster than the other, so this one was still cut, and this one was grown out. So I just have like. 95 percent of a uh, underwear 95 percent of a mustache like and a like, nike swoosh yeah <laughs> yeah dude it was like so it was like empty as hell dude and i was like damn i'm never doing that ever again like i literally cut that i was just impulsive thoughts i was like i'm gonna do it and, like it grows back and it did not grow back at the same time at least you tried it though you know you yeah i have pictures it's very embarrassing it's very like hitler look but like see that doesn't make sense now like oh no facial hair but cut it like real short yeah Mm. Something's up. Anyways, Colts. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, that's cool. So yeah, the Navy's like, dude, t- you gotta tell me all this stupid, like crazy, stupid, nasty stories. What did we? What did we used to do? Uh, I mean, all right, you want to get nasty, uh, dude? Okay. I. <laughs> we uh, we used to have like three water. You know, you have like a bathroom on each floor, right? Every bathroom's got like <laughs> that. Just reminds you when you were like, "Oh, I gotta go to the gym, but I go all the way to the top to you take a shit, shit. You shit at that top. shit down." <laughs> Anyways, yeah, because there's less. All right, here's a sidetrack. Bro. There's less traffic the higher up you go, dude, because nobody wants to shit and walk upstairs. That's my thinking. So I'm like, "All right, dude." <laughs> dude, it's just like if you're in the third floor, you're not gonna go down. You're gonna go to where it's at. Yeah, right. So you're, I don't know, dude. It's just like to me, it's just like whatever floor you're on, you're shitting. So if people are on the third floor, they're gonna shit on the third floor. What if you're it's, on the second floor? Then you're shit on the second floor. But the stair, you, I don't know. This they don't is got why, elevators. This, yeah, but you gotta wait. You get I don't know. Like, would you think you like it's worse if you like wait, or you had to like move and poop? To me, I think it's like moving. No, moving makes you poop. Does it make you poop? Because like when I have to like take a shit and I'm driving, I'm like, oh, and you're like. It's kind of harder because you're sitting because, you know, like, your body's like, oh, you're, you're sitting, you're going to shit, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, do you ever, like, when you, like, are close to your house and you're like, oh, shit, dude, I'm close. And then your ass is like, oh, yeah, we're here. Go. You're like, no, nah, dude, I got, like, three minutes left. Dude, I hate that. Like, when I get close to a corner, they're like, oh, dude, we're letting loose. Mm-hmm. Anyway, sorry, nasty stuff in the Navy. Yeah, nasty stuff in the Navy. Uh, I mean, so, yeah, we had eight stalls in a bathroom. Mm. And we had what, like maybe two hundred and fifty guys. So there'd be guys like shitting, guys jerking off, guys talking, and jerking off, dude. Like it's just, it's just locker room pandem. Like nobody gives a shit about what anymore, huh? Else. Yeah, they're just like, dude, we're stuck here. So like, do people jerk off in their bed and everyone's there? Dude, I, there was a guy who used to jerk off on the top bunk, and yeah. he would. He wouldn't even like put it anywhere. He just sprayed on the wall and go to sleep. <laughs> Fucking nasty people, dude. <laughs> Bro, like it's just dude, like and was you're it... on the bottom bunk, just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. shut up, dude. But like, was dude, it? Did he ever clean it? It's just a big it. ass no, gunk. You see, just drips, dude. Like, like, you dude. Everyday drips, dude. Dude, he had to clean that, dude. They would be like, "What the hell is this?" Like mold. <laughs> We got mold, dude. That's crazy. This dude nutted on the wall every day. That's insane. That's disgusting. Some gross people out there, dude. Oh, do the girls sleep in the same rooms? Some do. Now they do. Mine was all dudes. Though. All dudes. Mm-hmm. Had, like, and then all the girls have like share like two bathrooms, and there's like six of them. So, I had a question about that. Or was it? I think one of the, one of the boot camp divisions got in trouble because they were going across the hall. Because mm. sometimes, like, later on, they'll leave you, like, alone with just everybody. Mm. Like, the instructors or whatever, you know, a couple months in, they'll just leave. Mm-hmm. And uh, some guys would, like, sneak over to the girls mm-hmm. and give them, like, a number for the the cat, the phone in our room. Yeah. And they'd, like, call and, like, hey, yeah. show me your foot, you know. <laughs> oh, you like that? Uh, hey, let's fuck, dude. Yeah, dude, that's insane. That's disgusting. 
Did I? I mean, and they were down too, huh? They what? The girls were down too? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. They're just like, shit, dude. I'm tired of eating cooter. Is that what they say? Dude, you don't get to shower much in boot camp. It's probably gross oh, both ways. Oh, dude. That's like the olden days, dude. Sour mower, dude. Dig cheese and chowder. Do you cheese. like sour Laffy Taffy, the banana flavor? Banana flavor is not sour. All right. Well, whatever. I was, wasn't a fan of Laffy Taffy. Like, banana, the banana kind of felt like it was numbing my mouth. Like, it was very glacy and, like, waxy that I was just like. That's too big of a word, but that's a perfect description. Glacy. Is that I've even a word? That in my life. Glacy? It made sense. <laughs> made sense. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what else is glazy? The fucking wall. (laughs) Glazed. (laughs) Glazed up, bro. That shit was like, he was like Target. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's insane. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I didn't do too much. I didn't see too much crazy shit. Uh, Okay, what did you do? Did you want to expose yourself? No, I want to expose other people. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Do you still keep contact with some people? Yeah. Yeah? Some good buds? I still text one. Like, there was one guy I worked in with, like, the laser engraving department with. Yeah. Like, now he's got, like, a family. I see his, like, golfing videos on Instagram. Oh, nice. Yeah. What about Glazing Greg or whatever? Glazing Gary? Uh, no. He does porn? Sometimes you just got to let people live Continue. their own life, you know, stay yeah. away from them. Well, that's cool, though. Sorry, then go ahead. We had one guy. He, uh, his name, I, f- I don't even want to, his, I don't know, whatever. He used a fake name. Uh, and he was trying to go get a rub and tug out in town. Rub and tug he was is trying a, to get jerked off after a hand job, yeah. handy. And uh, he gave his fake name, and the lady was like jerking him off, like advertising, like you tell all your friends to come back here. You tell them what I do. Oh <laughs> gosh, dude, what Just the heck, filth, dude? Filth. Well, he's like, oh yeah, so this is my Instagram. If you ever want, <laughs> dude, what the heck? Were they Asian? Is it the Asian spots? Yeah. Where was it, San Diego? How do you I don't get? How do you expose too much on? The yeah, I, I, I just, uh, you know, yeah. journalism. Dude, how? Where do you even like? How do you know? How do you find it? Did he tell back you? Back pages. What's back pages? It, it's like some. I don't know if it's an app. I never used it, but it's just uh, like an app. No, I never. Well, we're about to right now. Get back download pages. It. I think yeah. it's like it's like a Craigslist type thing. Okay. Yeah. You think it's on Facebook Marketplace now? I don't have Facebook, so I don't. What? That I thought that was like the military greatest. Yeah, that's no. why I don't use it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to see them. Dude, that's funny. Okay, so Dix and Navy. So you really joined because of Call of Duty? Yeah, well, my thought was I wanted to kill people. I wanted to, you know, shoot some people. <laughs> what the heck you know. dude that's like but i realized that's just testosterone dude like you, yeah when you're when you're 18 or 19 you have nothing to fuck like constantly and you're not working out you just want to yeah. do something huh? i got this rage i gotta do something with it let's work out and do something dude that was not in my head i All think right, like well, i'm crazy well, probably a little bit but like <laughs> that, that that's what well those are the people that have to join the military yeah. you know what i'm saying you're there, you just get f- mentally ill. Then I realized I didn't like being told what to do. And then, yeah. Just yeah, w- which is Zodiac sign? Huh? Which is Zodiac sign? Scorpio. Right? I know some things. I'm a, I just got like 800, 800 female viewers after I said that. Scorpio? Which, which, no, which is Zodiac sign? All what's the, yours? Uh, I already know what you are. But. I'm a boy. Um, What do you think I am? Devil, that is correct. Yes, you are. I'm a devil man. Um, what were we talking about? Damn it! Oh, because you don't like to be told what to do. It was Call of Duty, mm-hmm. and you wanted to kill people. When I was 18, I think we was trying to figure out how to. I was a senior. Year, actually, did it was surviving the pandemic. I think that's what it was. Ooh, what is that? Like Mid pandemic, just turning into manhood. Dude, that was like you can't go outside. I didn't have no graduation. We didn't, I didn't have a prom. I still have the tickets though. We have her tickets. Dude, and she, I was, she like, people were getting asked, mm-hmm. and I was going to ask on the last day, and everything got canceled right before I was about to ask. And, like, like, <laughs> like it was just like, <laughs> oh, I thought you were you flipping are, you me off. In trouble or something? Uh, I thought you were flipping me off, but no, it was just like, it kind of worked in my favor because it was like, I, I didn't have, like, Nobody was going to help me, mm-hmm. you know? So I was just going to be, like, there, and I was just, like, 
It was gonna be so ghetto. So like, were you getting the uh, checks? Checks for what? I don't know. They gave. Them. Oh, yeah, and pan- during the pandemic, no. I, I did. No. Dude, I, I didn't get my stimulus check the first time. I had to like wait when everyone was like, "Oh, if you didn't get this, I got any my taxes or something." Mm-hmm. I don't know where that money went. But to be honest, probably like school or something. Or, Dude. Nice camera quick. No, I'm joking. Dude, I wish, <laughs> dude. I wish. I should have. Like, my ass was not even thinking about that. I was just like, oh, I have a phone. I just recorded everything on there. But no, I didn't get that. And then the unemployment shit was just insane. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Unemployment, dude? Oh. I tried. I got a card, and then I never got the pin, so. And then I tried again yeah, when I went to Seattle. 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 <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I have that stuff, and then, like, it just never works. So I'm just like, I'm not supposed to be unemployed or something um all right more navy stuff uh i'm sorry i was just dragging dra- dragging off <laughs> i was just going distract. off but like I mean, it doesn't have to be navy like let's get out of that because like uh because i don't know it was just so i feel like i feel like you're traumatizing i feel i feel like yeah i feel like you you you're you're you had enough of the navy i was gonna say you have conspiracy theories what do you like watch on your free time Besides, like, you know, Big Boogie Latinas. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, just, like, like, do you watch, like, do you get deep into YouTube? I used to. I used yeah. to get really deep into YouTube. Like, you know. I remember we were talking about shooting people. Shooting people? Because you were like, oh, because I want to kill people or something. Oh. That's yeah, what it was. And I, I straight up, it's freaking. But sorry, go ahead. You got deep into I'm, YouTube? I'm peaceful now. I don't, I don't have that age. <laughs> I, I, I nut. I nut now. I nut. <laughs> what was the question again? I forgot. Um, I was just trying to yeah. legally protect myself. <laughs> Dude, it's all jokes. I have to. It's okay. Um, I forgot what the question. Was. It was something about like conspiracy theories and oh, all that uh, stuff. Yeah, dude. I used to like. I used to get deep into like, oh, their FEMA's gonna open up Walmart in camps and put us all in them or FEMA. there's like what is fema again i think it's like the i don't even know what it is i didn't do that much research i think it's like a some sort of like natural disaster like you know when the hurricane happens fema comes in and helps give relief oh it's just like like kind of how um, what's that a PETA? is that the animal thing yeah, it's an animal. so it's like just an organization just to help whatever yeah is fema know. not even that good i feel like fema is not that good they they worked on Hurricane Katrina. I don't know. And they're still working on it. Probably. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, um, yeah, and then like I used to like think that there was like underground highways that would like. <laughs> I remember that stuff. You remember that? I remember like the underground city, the highways, and like there was like what was it, rat people or something, or like there's just like a whole community down rat under people? the sewers. I didn't get I, that deep. Okay. Oh, dude, I think it's probably just from South Park. No, it's lobster people. But I don't know. Lobster people. I mean, if, if you're down in those tunnels for long enough, you probably just, like, turn into a, like, you Dude, know? you just can't see the sun anymore. Master Splinter. Wait, um, growing up, what was, like, really cool? Because, like, you were 90 baby? Yeah, 90s. Kid. 90s baby, right? Like, style-wise, or, like, what did I like? No, just, like, whatever. Like, what was, what was it like, like? Like, did people, because I know I've seen videos of, like, people taking, like, camcorders or something to, like, school. And, like, oh, yeah, this is a senior class. And all that. like, you know how cool that was? But now it's just, like, phones. But it doesn't feel cool when it's phones. Because, mm-hmm. like, everyone has a phone. But camcorders, like, is that one person that always has a camcorder and just recording? Like, did, did like, people do that in school? I did that, yeah. Yeah, you're the camcorder guy? I, I was, like, uh, we were always trying to make, like, a sponsor me video for skateboarding. Okay, cool. Because we always played Tony Hawk, you know, like, always skateboarding. Call it duty. How old, is, how old are you? Probably 13, 12, around there. That's cool. And then we would go to, like, the school right across the street. Uh uh-huh. Like, wait till there was nobody there. Just grab the camcorder. camcorder <laughs> and then I would, uh, yeah, just film. <laughs> Who Did you just film your buddies at skate? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We you still talk to them? Like a little, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like right. my best friends. Yeah. One of them, yeah, is named after. Yeah. One was Fabian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, that's cool, though. Like, do you still have that camcorder? I probably do. It was all this footage and everything? Mm-hmm. Dude, you got to look for that. That's going to bring out so much memories. Yeah, dude. I remember one time we were drinking, like, 14. We left the tequila out. We're like, all right, dude, don't tell anybody. You give, like, 14-year-old alcohol, they're going to start screaming eventually, you know? 
Oh, for real? And then the dad came down, or uh, yeah, dad came down. Your dad? No, their uh, dad. Okay. And uh, started screaming. He goes, "Hey!" And then they're like, "Oh, f- dude, we're fucked." We all ran because we were so drunk, dude. We all ran to the living room and like dived into the couch and didn't move because we're like, "Oh, we'll get away with it this time." <laughs> like you're knocked out or something. The fucking bottle yeah. on the table. The table. <laughs> dude that's funny that reminded me like one time me and my my buddy we got high in his house but like they made their garage into like a little house room thingy Mm -hmm. and we're just like his sister gave us weed and like we traded weed for for sonic chicken wings (laughs) she gave me you know what i'm saying like she gave she's like give me some chicken wings i give you this nug and some papers we didn't know how to roll dude we didn't know how to roll but my homie was doing it and he was like messing so like yeah so we got the weed and then we're just like all right you ready like dude the wings are gonna be bomb as hell after this they're like okay and then we went to like the little garage thing and like we're rolling up and he was like fucking it up with one paper and i was like oh damn i was like give it paper he had no we had two or three okay and he uh he was messing it up i was like oh my god so i grabbed another paper and just like combined both of them it was so like retarded dude it was so dumb (laughs) like it was like like it was just trash mm-hmm. but we were just like fuck it dude we're just dying and we just like started smoking blowing out of the window and we're just like ah oh, coughing and all that just chilling and then we're like all right we're done let's go and then we go back into the living room and then we're just chilling and then it's just like we're taking pictures because we always take pictures when we're high because that shit's so funny i still have them we're just there like ah. and then we're like what are we gonna eat let's go and all this and then his mom we're like there taking a picture and then his mom was like Anel! and then and we were like he's like like yeah monday like that monday dude i haven't heard that in monday years, sorry. dude yeah. yeah um and then he like she's like where were you and he's like we we're down here and she's like no it's like brielle was down here and she didn't see you guys and then all this uh oh shit i bleeped the name on my phone but yeah as i was just like oh yeah and then um we're like no we're here and then there's like you weren't here because i came down and you weren't here what were you what were you guys doing and like we already knew we were busted like fuck. and then she came down dude mm-hmm. and then oh dude it was so bad because i was just like high as hell we're so high and then they're just talking let me see you let me see and we're looking and we're just i'm just like i'm not trying to make eye contact yeah dude i'm not trying to like make eye contact and they're like and she blamed me that like i was the one that brought it she's like oh you're doing all this you all this you're like i'm the back and he's like no 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 it wasn't him it wasn't him it was me it was me she's like i want to tell your mom and all that and i was just like no no like i was trying to i was speaking spanish but my ass was so gone that i was just like no 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 no, see no no but like like all this stuff dude it was so bad and then he was like no and then i was just like oh dude i'm gonna leave like i'm in trouble i'm gonna leave and she's like no you're not leaving you're you're high dude you're staying here and i was like all right and then like after we just got in trouble and all that shit and then we went upstairs we didn't say like who gave them gave us the weed but like we went upstairs and then we just started eating and watching tv all silent and shit we're just like damn like fuck we're just so high and sad and like and then like we went to bed and i woke up like four or three in the morning and dipped walked all the way home it was probably like an hour or two walk and then i was still a little high still and then i went to 7-eleven i grabbed like a sneaker doodle cookie in arizona and i recorded myself the whole walk because i was like so high and i used to have the video but i think i deleted it and i was just like walking and i was like yeah and then i couldn't like go over because like i felt like i was on probation like i couldn't go over it for like months because i was just like dude we got in trouble and all that shit and i went over and it's all chilling like we're still like best friends like his mom and shit we're cool and everything it was just so funny like we were just freshmen and they got so in trouble we got in trouble and we were like scared as hell but i was so gone that i was just like dude what's going on you should smoke with them now just make it a full circle right i mean yeah we still do like once in a blue moon like no i mean the the parents who busted you i would smoke with them yeah that'd be fucking funny i don't think they do that shit though his dad dude they're mexican as heck Uh and his dad loves like rock music okay he loves like like uh kiss uh, metallica all that stuff that's good music and it's crazy because sorry <gasps> that's a weird way to burp hump in my armpit <laughs> Showing it off. uh it's so crazy because it was just like he's mexican as hell but he listens to that music but they don't he doesn't show it off and like when he's like in the car by himself or i think his wife too that's when he listens to it and then like sometimes like it'd be playing and then like my friend my friend goes in and then he like changes it 
Like, I feel like that music is just like for him. they're embarrassed about it? Maybe. Like, maybe, like, that's what, like, his parents was like, oh, hell no. So, like, he doesn't show anybody. But they all listen to that stuff. They just, like, don't share it, which is funny. Maybe now they do since they're older. But, yeah. I always thought he had nipple piercings, but he doesn't. You, he just got weird shaped nipples? <laughs> nah. Yeah, he, Dude, it's just because, why like. Why you think he had nipple piercings? Because, like, he was just, like, got the always, he, he wears black all the time. He likes heavy metal. And, like, I just feel like back in the day, he was just like, man, I'm going to get fucking nipple piercings. And he got nipple piercings. And I tell them, and they're all laughing. Like, everybody was laughing. And then, like, tell them. And I was like, nah. And I was like, but then, like, I was just like, bro, look at him. Because I've always seen him wear black. And it's always a rock shirt. Like, that dude is, it's just crazy to me that, like, that just got to, like, Mexicans. I've never had the urge to get my nipple pierced. Dude, I wanted to. You did? I did. But, like, I have no nipple. Like, my nipples are so small. Like, it's, like, like it's going to be so whack, you know? It's, like, you're going to barely see it. And it's going to be so thin. It's whack, dude. So, decided to get it on my Hershey's nose. Kiss. little Hershey kiss. Are you going right. to get any more piercings? I want more. I, I had I had to get my eyebrow. I could get my eyebrow redone because it was coming out. Like, it was ripping through my skin because I kept hitting forcing it. Forcing it out? My, my skin was forcing it out. That's why I... It was doing that because I kept like messing with it, like like sometimes when I first started, like pulled my shirt down or up, and it like pulled it, and then it just got like I have a scar now. My eyebrow was like coming, was gone, so I was like slowly growing back. I see the little hole for it. Yeah, dude, it's like I'm just waiting so I can repierce it and take care of it way better, like more cautious. But I miss it. I do want to get that and like more ears, but mainly tattoos because I don't like piercings. But did you ever gauge it up? Ah, oh, hell no, dude. I was like thinking about it like super small, but then I was like. No. Nah, dude. Like that was, I think that was back in the early two thousands, and like some people do it now, but like, I wouldn't do it. That's just like, I would just be fucking with it too much. I'll put like pencils in there, my pinky. Like I would just like make it worse. I used to do that with cat because she had gauges. For, yeah, you don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, she had like double zeros. I used to like, I'd fuck with it. Yeah, put shit in there. Yeah, like, Kobe. Pull, pull it out sometimes. Just pop it out and just take it. Take it, and then she's a Buddha. Yeah, it's like yeah, and whistles. I'm gonna have one more question before we go, okay? And this is a very serious question. So be honest, okay? Be honest. This guy's hitting me hard. All right. So, would you rather have your knees or your elbows bend the opposite way? And this is gonna determine for me and the audience the type of person you are. It's a lot of pressure. Uh, let's. See. Would you rather have your elbows or your knees? I like to run, but I like to do stuff. Ostrich runs fast. They bend the other way, don't they? That's why. <laughs> Dude, we're just going to be like, <laughs> like, what if you work out with your elbows and, like, just trying to do biceps and you have to go, like, the it's other like way? Over. And, like, your bicep is your tricep. And you're like, and you're, yeah, I think I do arms, elbows. You do elbows? Why? So I can still run. Feel like I'm not walking silly. <laughs> You do push-ups funny as hell, though. And rock climbing, like, the other way, upside down. Mm-hmm. Or, all right. That's how, we, that's how we're going to associate associate you. Well, thank you, John. All right. What would you pick? I would pick elbows. Elbows? I feel uh, like that'd be funny me? as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, dude. I would pick elbows because I think it would be so funny. It's just like, because, like, people are used to, I used to, growing up, I used to get made fun of this. Your muscle? No, like, my my elbow. Like, if you pull your arm out. Oh, that's a gross. No, I'm joking. Uh, like, I think you might have it too. You might be double jointed. Like, my elbow was like that. And the people were like, oh, they started laughing like my family. And I was like, I don't understand it. But I think it would just be funny if it was just like, oh, you know? Scratching your head. And you Did some it. weird stuff, you know? But um, thank you. You're a local survivalist. I appreciate that for your time. And um, we'll talk about more stuff, whatever comes in life. And, um, yeah. And if you see me camping, don't call the cops on me. Yeah, amen. Uh, love yourself, love your family, love your uh, dog, love your cat, love your fish, whatever. Um, hug you, hug them, love them, text your ex, don't text your ex. It don't matter. Uh, thank you for watching. Mwah.